which we put in this side, we, it, so it, we, we have here the resistance. So we find that the fulcrum between effort force and resistance force. So it is a first type of levers. So we, well, we can call it first class levers. We have another, another example for first class lever. This is a plier. What's meant by this? This is used to what? To pick up or to catch something like nails and so on. So who can tell me where is the uh, fulcrum and resistance force and effort force? Yes, we were searching for the fix, fixed point. Where is the fixed point here? Yes, this. This we when we rotate this levers doesn't rotate with me. So this is what this is fulcrum. Where is the effort force? We push here. So oh my god. <laughs> so we push here. So this is the effort force and this is the resistance force. The resistance force, effort force and sorry, resistance force, fulcrum and the effort force. So we find that the fulcrum between resistance force and effort force it will be from the first the class lever. So when they ask that give reason for sensors or pliers is considered from are considered from uh, first the class lever we can say it because we can find fulcrum between effort force and resistance force there are many examples rather than this where here we have example like scissors and seesaw crowbar pellets pliers and suction pump so we have here many, many, many different uh, examples. So we can say it, it is the most common type of the of what of the first class levers. We need to talk about the second class lever. Where is the second class lever here? The second class lever, we find that the arrangement of the fulcrum and effort force and resistance force is different. We find that the resistance force lies between fulcrum and the effort force. So we can define it as the following. It is the type of lever that the resistance force lies between what? Fulcrum and effort force. Okay, I need an example where we can use this tool. So we need to talk about the fixed point. Where is the fixed point here? The fixed point here, this, we can rotate. We need to do make a rotation. This is the rotation. So, where is the fixed point here? Yes, this part. So, this part is the fixed point. So, we call it what? Fulcrum. Okay? Okay. We here find the fulcrum not on the middle, but in the other side, one of the, of the two sides. So, where the force? We make effort force here. We catch it from this side. So, this is the force. So, where is the resistance? When we put something here, it makes a resistance. We need to push up. We need to make effort force here. So this is effort force, and this is fulcrum, and this is the resistance. So we find here the resistance lies between fulcrum and effort force. So it will be from second class levers. Okay, what is the name of this machine? We have many machines. This is for lemon, and this is for garlic, like this. This is for garlic, smash garlic we find like this this is what this is fulcrum and we have here the resistance where we put the garlic here and this is the effort force so we find that there are resistance between what between fulcrum and effort force like this machine we have the nutcracker nutcracker like this okay so now examples for second class lever it's like what? It's like nutcracker, and it's like hotel opener, and wheelbarrow. And we will say, see these pictures later. Okay, let's talk about third class lever. Third class levers, we find here the, for, the effort force lies between the resistance and fulcrum. Resistance and what? And fulcrum. So we find here there are resistance. The effort force lies between resistance and fulcrum. So, where, like what? Like this. So, who can remember me? 
What is the name of these things? Yes, tweezers. It's called what? Tweezers. Where is the fixed point? This is a fixed point. So it is what? It is fulcrum. Where is the effort force? Here. We catch it from this port, from the middle. So we make a force from this side. And where is the resistance? Here. So when, when I want to catch this, we make like this. So where is the effort force? Here in the middle. Where is the fulcrum? Here. Where is the resistance? Here. So we find that the effort force lies between fulcrum and resistance. So it will be from the third class levers. Like what? Like manual broom. We catch manual broom from this side. So we fix the manual broom from this side and we make force from the what? From the middle. And the resistance is the papers that we want to clean it. So this is fulcrum and this is effort force and this is resistance. So we find that the, fulcrum, the effort force lies between fulcrum and resistance. There are another types for third class lever like tweezers, like hockey pad, cool holder, like this we're talking about later. So who can remember me? This is fulcrum and we push here, so this is the resistance force, and we catch the things from this side, so the resistance force. Fulcrum, effort force, resistance force. So tweezers, hockey pad, coal holder, fishing tool, and manual broom. Okay, so we need to see some pictures about these things. Where are these pictures? Here. Here we find different pictures for this. This is, we call it what? Crow par. Yes. So we make it like this to pick up something or to catch something. Okay, get it away. So we find here, this is the effort force. This is what? The effort force here. We catch it from here. And this is the fixed point and this is the resistance. So we find the fulcrum between resistance and effort force. So it will be from what? Yes. First class lever, so this is first class. Okay, this is nutcracker, and we talk about this, and this is pliers, and this is sweat holder. Where is the different tool? This. We call it what? Wheelbarrow. We can find in the garden. Yes. Where is the fixed point? Here. So this is fulcrum. O. Where is the resistance? In the middle. This is R. Where is the effort force? We push the car from this side. So it will be what? Here, effort force. So we can find that the resistance lies between fulcrum and effort force. So it will be from, yes, second class levers. Second class levers. And this is the bottle opener. This is a fixed point. And this is the resistance in the middle, and this is the effort force. So here are the resistance, and here are the fulcrum, and here this is effort force. So we can find the resistance between fulcrum and effort force, and this is from second class lever. Here, I can find the who, can, who didn't know what's meant by hockey pad. This is the play hockey. This is the hockey pad. So we catch, this is O. Fix it from this type. This is the force. Push here. And this is the resistance. The ball. So we find the force between what? Between resistance and fulcrum. So it will be from third class levers. This is the three types of levers. Which is, which are here. First class, second class, third class. First class fulcrum in the middle, second class resistance in the middle, third class effort force in the middle. So we can ORF, 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 O the first, R second, F third, so ORF, this is the first three classes of levers. This is the end of our lessons, so the homework that you have to do it. What? Your booklet, page number two. You can solve it and be in contact with me. Thanks.